pep ako today. Hi guys! Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel! This is your girl, Shira, and you're watching Shira's Vlogs! So for today's how-to video, we will be making and I will be teaching you on how to make a web page. So stay tuned. Let's get to the video. How to make a web page. Technical writing is no longer bound to hard copy and you know that. So creating a web page allows the students to practice good technical writing skills, clarity, conciseness, well, document design, and etc. So if your students are using Microsoft Word, they can access a web pages template. The students just open Microsoft Word, click on file, scroll to new, click the web pages, tab, and they're there. Wizards will allow students to create various types of websites and easily save their work as an HTML document. So let's see an example. So here, you're gonna click on your PowerPoint presentation and then the save as and then you will go to the save as type and select web page. So your presentation will serve as a web page ready. So what you should consider on making web pages? Number one, the home page. All web pages are not equal. Some websites on the internet are awful, while others are very successful. To create an effective website, students should abide by the following criteria. So one is the home page. When you arrive at a website by typing in its URL or uniform resource locator, the website address you should see a title of the product or service, a contact information, a graphic presenting the topic, an introductory lead, and hypertext links. So for example here, this is the title of the product or service. Here is the contact information. A graphic that represents a topic, an introductory lead, and the hyperlink text. Number 2. Page Layout A successful web page should only use about two-thirds of the screen for text. It's hard for anyone to read an online page from margin to margin due to a number of challenges. This include monitor resolution, scrolling, glare, pixel, distortion, animation, etc. To solve these problems, limit line length using about one-third of the screen for your navigation bar and two-thirds for the text. Here is an example. Number 3. Navigation Online readers can turn pages, so they need some way to get from screen to screen. You help them by providing a home button on each web page, a navigational bar or separate hypertext link words or icons to all web pages within the website. Number 4. Highlighting techniques You want to tastefully and judiciously you want to tastefully judiciously use any of the following techniques to design your website but remember a little goes a long way colored or patterned backgrounds be sure the text is clearly legible by striving for optimum contrast black text on a white background or yellow text on a blue background for example horizontal divider lines iconic bullets colored text different font sizes tables and figures So, the home page has four hypertext links, home, prices, options, and references. Plus, it has a left margin navigational border, a title for the company, a logo representing the company services, a clever introductory lead, and a contact information. So, this is an example design of a web page. So, on one third of the screen is the navigation bar including the hyperlink text on the remaining two-thirds of the screen you have the name of the company the company logo a title for the web page or prices and then the text the next the text is provided in an easy to access manner using a table and lots of white spaces and it's that easy to make a web page so that's it for our video for today which is i'm so I'm sorry for the word, but mm, well, anyway, 
I hope that you have learned something from today. Again, this is your girl, Shira, and you're watching Shira's Vlogs.